Hi, Gloria. So it's very easy to pull an SVG file into Cricut. I am going to go to Upload and then Browse. And if I go into the desktop on my computer, you're going to find it in your downloads. I'm going to download the, S the Mocha Thin. And there it is. There's all the letters. And if I upload it, there it is again, add it to my canvas, and there it is. And then I'm going to use my control key to kind of pull it down a little bit. But this is sized perfectly for SS10 rhinestones, and each letter is combined so it doesn't goof you up. You can ungroup it, and then let's take the R, E, N, I and then we're going to duplicate that E and we don't need the rest of these so let's get rid of those and then lastly you can go into um, a line and align it vertically and then go ahead and pull your letters in. And again, that's all there is to it, really. You know, you're coming up with your word without typing it. But um, if you go into the text tool, and I have Mocha Thin there, let's do the same thing with the letters. And there it is. And again, you're going to size that at 114. And I am going to add a little bit of spacing. And there you go. Hi, this is Barrett from rhinestonealphabets.com, and you can find our fonts either on rhinestonealphabets.com, also on Etsy. So this is the slanted combo listed on Etsy, and it's a double color font. And I have shown you several ways to do this font. However, I'm going to show you a super easy way that I figured out on Cricut to combine the colors on this to make it uh, easier to send it to your cutter. So again, with Cricut, you're going to size it at a 1, 2, 3 for SS10 rhinestones. Let's go ahead and grab our, our word tennis here with the caps lock on. And right away, I'm going to uh, grab this and type a 1, 2, 3 in the size box. And that is going to size it for an SS10. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And again, I'm going to kind of double click on it. And that allows you to keep typing. Take the caps lock off and type the inside of the word. So now you got the inside and the outside. And I'm going to add some color to this. And we are going to go ahead and center this. And remember, uh, that usually uh, is very, very accurate in the programs. However, with Cricut, again, uh, for some reason, centering it, it's slightly off. 
So I want you to manually make sure you have that where you want it. So this is ready to divide out, but we're going to do one more thing. We're going to ungroup each part of this, and then we'll be able to line up the letters a little bit closer. So I'm going to grab each double color here a little bit closer, and then when I get it the way I want it, we're going to do something fast and easy in this side panel to combine them. Okay, so now we're going to do a layering and you can see the lowercase parts and the uppercase part. So let's just grab all the lowercase part and I'm going to go ahead and um, group them. And then I'm going to grab the uppercase letters and I'm going to group them. So now we've got the two parts to this and I'm going to go ahead and weld them. And one last time I'm going to show you that they are centered and ready to go. And once you hit your makeup, make it it is going to uh, print the two or cut the two designs. Um, one more thing that you could do is um, change the color so they're both the same color and then you're going to cut them on the same mat, save, save some space. So hopefully that makes sense and let us know if you have any questions.